Today the shed, we harness the power of the sun. Alright, so before I had my operation, get my arms free, did a little bit of body work on this tuber. A lot of steel framework going on. I just did um, sort of compound bends using X and Y axis, uh, using my hoist and some bricks. The um, it's a rear spoiler. Imagine that. I just flipped it upside down and uh, had bricks on the ground and put the pipe in between the span and just basically just stood on it to get that that arc that you can see there. And now the front, I've enclosed this cabin into a, like a little bit of a cage. So there'll be a, just a flat plate o over the top of this. The sides will, will carry up and there'll be kind of a bit of an undercroft under there. All I really wanted to do was cover all the components uh, and the front end to make it a bit more aerodynamic. But, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Alright, so here I've just got some random sheet metal. Just uh, aluminium, like one mil thick aluminium. And um, got off the <coughs> side of the road. And um, all I'm going to do is just cut a flat sheet. Uh, just a rectangle, it's like 1400 by 200 I'm pretty sure. And um, just lay it over the, over the top of this. And I'll probably put it underneath as well. Um, if I don't put aluminium underneath, I might just use core flute underneath. Um, so yeah, I've got this core flute stuff. It's like a, um, a SL uh, plastic sheet, and it's like pretty cheap. It's like for a 1200, 2400 sheet, it's about $11. Um, but again, uh, yeah, I got it off a of curb mark, and uh, I'm just gonna put it over here and try and conform it to the sides. And if core flute conforms, then sheet metal would conform. Uh, and uh, we can go ahead and sort of start ordering aluminium or, or whatever. Um, and if not, then I'm going to just have to compound the core flute and uh, we're going to have to just fire glass the sides. Alright, so time for some core flute. This is what the stuff actually looks like, just so people get an idea. Uh, let's put some on.
at some point we were going to want to drive this thing at night time uh, whether uh, doing a rally sprint or doing some like tuning uh, so luckily my good mate Dave donated an old LED light bar that he had uh, it's about a bazillion watts um, so it should be fine for us uh, the problem with the light bar is that it had these end caps on it and unfortunately there was a bolt stuck in the end cap so pretty much just throw those away and I made my own end caps out of just some aluminium uh, and they adapt to just uh, other plates then they bolt to the front of the car so now we'll have some light now that I've got some sort of dash pad installed probably uh, transfer all these switches over to here and um, put in some of our gauges That was unexpected. So we're making pretty good progress now. Um, making really good headway. Um, motor runs, got some sort of like body panels on it which like man looks freaking awesome like i'm so stoked with how it's like turning out um radiators mounted um like the the dashes in and stuff we've got gauges got electrics going on um i'm going to finish wiring all this off later um so the next part is being able to like operate the gears um this selector assembly is off of a82 twinkie that we kind of like experimented with. Um, but this uh, this linkage will fit with the SW20 stuff and it's pretty much spot on uh, the length that we need. But the problem is that I need a reverse this linkage. So that's something I can do when after I've made brackets and stuff like that. So all I'm gonna do is like chop it and spin it around and so it'll select on the in the right orientation. Um, so what I've got to do is I've got to get um, when the engine and gearbox come out uh, to install other bits and for us to paint the frame and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to install uh, SW20 linkage and selector stuff, uh, which has been provided by WTF Auto. They've been like super awesome in providing stuff, uh, hard to get things and just like odd little things that you know they have laying around and, and things like that. Um, so I've got the, the bracket for the selector cables uh, mounted on the box at the moment and I've done a bit of test fitting uh, with these and um, that'll be the next thing that needs to go on. You'd think, being able to select gears is all good but we also need a brake, like a handbrake and stuff to stop the car moving and it's part of uh, a lot of the regulatory uh, management of the uh, sort of racing that we're gonna do. So, need to, need to install this guy. So, this is just, uh, thanks to eBay, $32 handbrake. Uh, it can go in a few different orientations. You may have actually seen one of these on the latest Mighty Car Mods uh, uh, Interceptor, uh, what did they do? It's like a commercial for super cheap. Um, they actually use this exact same handbrake as, as it turns out. Um, it's not why I used it, but it just turns out that that's what they wanted to use as well. So I'm going to have to mount this, and the way I'm going to mount it is I'm going to uh, flip this over so the lines come in underneath, and I'm going to mount it forward of the shifter and make it so that it comes over the top of the shifter. Because, well, you're never using the shifter and the handbrake at the same time, that'd be, that'd be pretty awkward. So I'm going to mount this and then mount this, this forward, maybe a little bit offset. But the main thing is that we don't have a lot of width. Uh, 
I'm going to have to mount the seats before I do that. So this is where project and prioritizing comes in. Um, so you need to work out the order of things and then do them in the order and uh, you know, then you, you're not doing things 10 times over. So I suppose the next bit is going to be installing the seats, removing the seats, installing the seats, removing the seats. But now I'm just going to have to fab up a load of mounts and stuff now, I suppose. As far as seats go, we uh, certainly don't compromise here. We got it to a China's finest. Um, these are not real brew days. They are copies and they were 50 bucks for the pair. And the guy dropped them off. Now because we got these seats, I can simply just cut these tabs off and weld other bits to them. Because uh, the rails are, are steel, there's no adapting to weird stuff. Uh. And to save you all the boring stuff, here's one I prepared earlier. Now I just gotta throw it in and we're done. Time for a lemon squash.